and welcome to Round Robin. I am Desia Scott. I'm in for Robin McCormick today. She's on vacation. And I'm here with Jay Johnson. And she's going to be talking with us today about the Hampton Storytellers Convention, I'm sorry, festival that will be going on this year in, in July. Yes. And so she's going to be telling us all about the different storytellers that will be coming in July. But I'm a talker. I love to tell stories, but I really love to hear about stories as well. But it's the ones that get you really emotionally involved that kind of get me going. But I want to hear all about this festival that's coming in Hampton. But mainly what I want to start with is why Hampton? Why did you all choose Hampton? I chose Hampton because it's my hometown. Okay. Even though I don't live here now, my heart is still in Hampton. Your heart is still in Hampton. And I wanted to do something special. Really, in a, in a way, it's an outgrowth when I was a city employee. We started the whole concept of neighborhoods. Okay. And I thought, wouldn't it be great if neighborhoods had something that helped people within them communicate better, understand each other better, and what better than stories? That's right. That's so. right. So these stories, tell me more about the stories that people can look forward to hearing when they come to the festival. All of the storytellers tell stories a little differently, but they all, are, some are folk tales, some are fairy tales, some are personal narratives, which is more what I do, and some are historical characters. But what we all need to recognize is that ordinary people do extraordinary things, and their stories need to be told. And so that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to plant seeds within the community and that's why we call it Everybody's Got a Story, because everybody does have a story. <laughs> You're right about uh, that. So, everybody uh, does have a story. just need to learn to tell it. So is this a festival where people can participate in, in the storytelling, or are there are facets in, this, in the festival where you can come and listen to a story, or can they also sign up to tell their story? Well, I'm glad you asked that question, because that's a part of what makes the Hampton Storytelling Festival so different. We have the first weekend in which we're showcasing nationally recognized storytellers. I mean, Hampton's going to be very fortunate to have three or four people who are known all over the country. Okay, who, like who? Like Dylan Pritchard, like Sheila Arnold, like Jessica uh, Robinson. Okay. You know, those three people particularly, Jessica, Jessica Robinson, started a whole outfit in Fairfax called Better Said Than Done. Oh, yeah. And she has one of the most fabulous women's storytelling festivals on the East Coast. Dylan, for a long time, has been telling mostly stories of the culture. Sometimes he comes with drums and has that involved in his storytelling. Mm -hmm. Sheila tells all kinds of stories, such a wide range. And so people it, all over the country so he ask her to come to senses. festivals. All of them, you know, and then there's a couple of people like me, newly minted storyteller. <laughs> I didn't start telling stories until I was 80 years old. Nothing and, wrong with that. <laughs> yeah, but I wish I had started sooner. <laughs> Nothing because it's that. fun. It is such it's fun. fun. Yes. It's fun. It's yeah. fun. So how, what are the ages that people can come to the festival? Is it something for all ages? Are there particular genres? They're, all of the storytelling festival uh, events will be what we call family friendly. But they are, I think, either three, maybe four on the calendar that are designated as children's stories. So they're particularly suited to younger people. Okay. But uh, most of the stories are intergenerational. Intergenerational, that's right. great. Yes. Because I know as we kind of, we, we look at the generations, we think of teen, I mean, we yeah. think of children and we think of adults listening, but we have this one, the, the, the teens, right. that we kind of miss. Will it be something for them as well? Okay, so let me say that first weekend I told you is the national showcase. Mm -hmm. Then we have a week in between we're calling the Storytelling Academy, okay. where people can come and learn how to tell stories. Okay. okay. The last weekend is the local showcase for storytellers. All right. So let me tell you how we get those local storytellers. The first weekend we have an audition that's scheduled and people can come in and audition their own stories. This is Hampton people. Mm -hmm. What we want them to do is to include Hampton in their stories, oh. but other than that the story can be whatever they want it to be. Okay. How your family came here, how your parents met here, you know, with your experience in school or whatever, whatever. And uh, those people who go through the audition are going to be tutored during that middle week okay. to perform at the local storytelling showcase on the last weekend. On the last weekend. And where is that going to be at? That's going to be at Northampton Community Center. Northampton Community Center. Right. Okay. Yes. Great. Yeah. I have a lot of dates and places oh. in my head, so it gets a little complicated. Oh, that's no but problem. But it'll be all, all be on the website. On the website, which yes. is what? www. 
Hampton Story Telling dot art a r t okay hampton storytelling dot art. art okay yes. we'll definitely put that up on right. the website yes. as we do this in, yes. in the end but this sounds so intriguing so not only are you providing a way for people to come to hear stories being told mm -hmm. but they can also learn how to tell stories absolutely in a way that does it for me to evoke the mind body and soul and make mm -hmm. it to where that they tell compelling stories right. so they don't have to wait as long as you might have and say oh okay i'm telling stories for 80 years <laughs> instead of for the last <laughs> That's years. true. But it That's does true. sound very, very yes. interesting. Yes. So is there anything else about the, the, the I keep wanting to call it convention, the festival, <laughs> that you want to let the, the viewers know? Well, I think that one of the things they need to know is over that first weekend when they look at the schedule, they don't have to just go to the place that's nearest them if they live in Hampton. And it is open to the, to the whole entire area. Oh, so people can come from anywhere to the festival. They can go to any location they want to. None of them is off limits. And they can go to several in one day. Okay. Each day there's going to be an All Tellers show. Mm. On Friday, the All Tellers show is focused on seniors as an audience, not as the stories. Okay. And that one is going to be held at... It escaped me, but I'll get back. Okay. <laughs> no, no worries. I think the dates and times will be on the website. Thank you. I'm glad. But let me make sure. Well, I, wait a minute. Oh, the okay. second All Tellers is going to be on Saturday. That's okay. at Hampton Baptist Church. The third All Tellers is Sacred Stories on mm -hmm. Sunday of the first weekend, and that's going to be at Victoria Station on Mellon Street. On Mellon Street. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And so the whole festival itself lasts from July 22nd, 20. Third? July 13th. July 13th through until the, the 20th, 20, 22nd. That's it. That was the date. Yes. So that was the whole week. It starts right. from one weekend and lasts all through the yes. following weekend. Yes. Okay, that that right. works for me. All okay. right, Ms. Johnson, I appreciate you. Yeah. All right, so if there's nothing else that you would like to add, I want to say thank you so much for being on our show today. Right. It thank is a pleasure you. meeting you. And it's so nice to have you come back to Hampton to tell your stories and <laughs> knowing thank that you're you. a Hamptonian and that your heart is here in Hampton, we'd love to have you here and tell your stories as well. Absolutely. Everybody's got a story. Come out and tell your own story as well. Fantastic, Ms. Johnson. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. And thank you all for watching. Thank you and have a great day. See you soon.